Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are working on our steam locomotive again. As you guys can see right here, this is our steam locomotive. What we did last time is we added these guns to the side of here. We also actually added a gun to the rear of here as well, which is an anti-aircraft gun. Now, if we go backwards, this is my first attempt at a flat cannon. This is my second, and honestly, I think this looks way better. So, we'll end up getting rid of this one. Anyway, what we're going to do today is uh, create a railway gun. So, uh, we're going to add a cannon that is bigger than this one to a train car and hopefully make it look good too. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okay, so the way that I'm deciding to do this is to actually go ahead and uh, remove a lot of the top of this piece. Uh, just to make sure we can actually do it. So, go all the way to the rear, go all the way up to the top, cut it, and just sort of remove it. There we go. Uh, we're going to have to move these guys backwards and these guys forwards, and then we can go from there. Okie dokie, so this is currently our train car. As you guys can see, it is with nothing on it. Now, the thing that I've got in my hands is a Bertha cannon, and uh, honestly, I feel like it's a little bit too big for this train car, because this train car isn't as wide as it, it could be, I guess, is, is my wording. Um, yeah, so we're actually going to make this a small, uh, a small one with just an artillery gun. Uh, so, artillery... Uh, we're going to use one of these artillery cannons instead, which of course is a lot smaller, but um, actually makes a lot more sense for this application. So, we're going to try and decide uh, how we want this to be, whether we want to just aim it up and down, or whether we want to be able to turn it side to side. That is something that we need to figure out. Okay, so we need to figure this out all together if we can. Uh, essentially what I want to do first is design something that will allow it to... Um, I don't know, hook up with itself, if that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and do this on both sides. Here we go. Uh, and essentially, we need a very strong beam uh, in order to actually hold the cannon itself up. So we're going to do something like this. We're then going to go from this point up to there, and that should be fine. We're then going to do the same thing on the other side. So if we can, let's bring it up to there. Uh, go and attach this guy to here, and bring it all the way down like so. And we'll attach the cannon in the middle of there. Actually, do we want to do it that way, or do we want it to be a little bit lower? So we're going to go ahead and delete these guys up to about there. We're going to go ahead and delete these guys to about here. And we're going to go ahead and attach it all together using these guys all the way across the top of there. And that should be fine. Uh, I know it's a little bit odd, but it should work. We're then going to go ahead and do these guys up to there as well, because we can. And we're going to do the same thing right here, like this, up to there. And that looks excellent. That actually looks pretty good. So, the next thing that we need to do... Um, if we want it to be able to turn side to side, which I think we do, we're going to go ahead and do this across the middle. Delete these guys right here, get ourselves a pivot. Yes. We're going to grab one of these guys, attach it directly onto here like this, and it should be able to turn side to side. Now, it won't be able to turn all the way, uh, like it won't be able to look backwards, uh, but it should be able to look sideways. So, that's kind of okay. Okay, so in order to actually fit this in properly then, we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and paint the top section a little bit. So we're going to use these guys, oh, these guys, these guys, here we go. And we're going to do this all the way across there, including that guy and all of this. There we go. We're going to paint those guys back as they are, and that's going to be fine, hopefully. Okay, so now we need to figure out where we want the actual cannon itself to go. And I'm not entirely sure where we want it to go. So I think uh, we'll go ahead and attach these guys onto there like this. We'll go ahead and build those guys into there like so. And I think we'll actually do something like this as well. There we go. Artillery cannon. Yes. Yeah. So this is the next thing. We need to actually whack this on here like this. I don't know whether we can lift up the artillery ammo. I think we can. Uh, however, I'm not entirely sure about that. We also need an actual pivot. So let's grab one of these guys. Smack it into there like this. Like this. There we go. And we'll attach the artillery cannon. A artillery cannon to this guy, right here like this. There we go, okay, excellent. So, if that's the case, we can turn it side to side, and we should also be able to aim it up and down. Unfortunately, we won't be able to have this guy uh, if we want to do that. So, there we go. Okay, that's fine by me. Hopefully, it works. Um, the other thing is, we need to actually be able to control it from somewhere as well. So, we need to figure that out too. Okay, so for that, I have a little bit of an idea. Um, will this actually be able to work? I think it will. Okay, so that's fine. We're going to go ahead and attach a, a seat uh, off the side of here like this. We're going to go ahead and do these guys like this and also like uh, this too. There we go. And we can also probably fit that in there like that. We then need an actual seat that we can attach to it, which is going to be one of these. 
Uh, and that's going to go right there like so. Okay, we only really need that on one side, but if we have it on both, I guess that's fine. Okay, actually, no, let's not have it on both sides. We'll actually just have a normal seat on one side and we'll whack that in there like this. Uh, we'll then get ourselves some cranks uh, in order to actually make it look nicer on this side. Um, and essentially, we'll just add like a few cranks across here uh, as if that guy can control anything, which they currently can't, but that's fine. We'll attach that to there like so. And it's a little bit strange, but I think it'll work out. Yeah. The other thing uh, that we actually do need is to do uh, this. Okay, so we're going to do this guy like this. We're going to get a pipe and we're going to bring it upwards. Here we go, just like so. One, two, three. There we go. Maybe even four. Nah. Monitor. We're going to go ahead and strap that onto here like this. And that is going to be our view. Okay, that's fine. We're then going to get ourselves a camera. Mm -mm 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 -mm, which is going to go on there just like this. That way around. And we're going to strap these guys into the sides. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to get ourselves some rocket boosters. Yes, we are. Here we go. Uh, we're going to attach this on both sides like this. Uh, kind of. There we go. And we're going to attach one of these firing mechanism thingamabobbies to there. And that should be fine. Okay. Excellent. Is this going to work? Who knows? Uh, if we go back to artillery as well, we can actually add a muzzle brake to it. Uh, just like so. And that doesn't look too bad at all, actually. Uh, maybe an extender would be good, so we can extend it. Then we can put a muzzle brake on it. Uh, kind of like this one, just like so. Yeah, that actually looks really cool. So if we spawn this in, let's have a little look at it. There it is. Okay, lovely. Uh, and this, this hopefully will totally work. Oh, actually, there are more things that we need to do. So one of these guys does actually need to go in there. That's fine. Uh, we'll add pipes in order to actually make those work. So here we go. A little pipe right there and a little pipe right there. And that should be fine. We're also going to do the same thing right here as well, because again, we can. Okie dokie, next thing then, we need to go ahead and put spacebar on trigger. There we go, awesome. Um, open and close breach. I guess the driver could do that, but I don't want to do it that way. Um, a and D is going to go left and right, so let's go and attach that to there. And W and S is going to be back here. We're also going to go ahead and change this to be a little bit stronger by doing this. And I think that's about right. Okay, so now we need some ammo. Artillery, uh, okay, artillery ammo, we need, I don't know, just straight ones, I guess, yeah, uh, and the way we're going to do these is actually like this, one, two, three, there we go, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, oh, two, one, two, three, three, there we go, delete this guy, uh, and that guy, and that guy, and we'll actually just attach these guys to the sides, uh, and hopefully that'll look good, I think it will, bam, bam, there we go, yeah, I think that's fine. All right, so now all of them actually have ammunition in, which is perfect. So let's jump up here, jump into the other side, and um, what in the world? What is this? Okay, so it raises up, it doesn't go down. Okay, invert that and make it better. <laughs> invert that and make it better. So, inverter, yes. Let's go ahead and slap one of those on here somewhere. Uh, we can just whack it directly in the middle, that's fine. Uh, and that is going to be for the WNS. Okay, so uh, for this and this. I should really put a clamp on that, but never mind. Okay, so that's going to raise it up into the sky. That is fine. Okay, so in order to actually turn on the uh, the sights, let's go and do this. Uh, that's fine. And also to do the video, let's do this. And that's okay too. Really, what we should do is add the uh, the gun sight again, but we haven't done that yet. We have not done that yet, but we can aim this up into the sky. It's okay, it's just a little bit tricky, that's fine. Right, if we want to open the breach, we need to figure that out too. So we need a button, yes, toggle button. Okay, uh, if I could whack this on the back of here, that's fine. And then we should be able to attach this into here, open the breach, and that's okay too. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, I don't know why this isn't strong enough, but it should be. So I might do this, maybe. I'm going to go ahead and delete this guy, and we're going to go ahead and do this as well. Okay, there we go. And we're also going to do this guy, just in case, uh, so that hopefully it keeps it level. That's that's my job anyway. Oh, that's that job. There we go. Okay, is it going to work? Is that going to work? Who knows? All right, jump up. Jump back. I can actually hold these so we can open up the breach. Whack them into the gun. Go ahead and close it in. Raise it up into the sky. Three, two, one, fire! Nice. Okay. Yes, it totally works. Good. 
Uh, the other thing that I wouldn't mind doing as well, actually, is raising a bar. One, two, three, four, maybe even five. There we go. Put that there. Okay, awesome. Uh, and this is just going to be for it to rest in case it needs it. It might not need it. It might never need it. But we're going to put it there anyway, just in case. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okie dokie, so testing wise, let's go ahead and see what it looks like here. Uh, as you guys can see, it is actually, um, it's resting on there, which is exactly what that was for. And it is located directly behind our V2 of uh, our flat cannon. And there you go, so there's the flat cannon, and this is the artillery cannon behind it. Of course, the passenger seat does nothing, but this guy uh, should be fine. Also, uh, I need to take it off um, return, because Sticky will be way better. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so uh, I'm going to have to reattach this, but um, oh, hopefully it does actually work. I'm sure it will. Okie dokie. So now that it's on sticky, everything should work out actually really nicely. Let's go ahead and sm smack this straight into there. Close the breach. And now we should be able to actually turn the gun as well. Uh, unfortunately, this also needs inverting, but that's fine. Um, and yeah. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? That's actually really awesome. So if we wanted to shoot, we can actually just aim it sideways. Three, two, one. Pow! Nice. In order to reload the gun, though, uh, it is sort of off the side. But that's fine. We can go ahead and smack it in there, and we can do it from here. Yeah! Okay. Three. Oh, we just fired again. Nice. Okay, I'm actually really happy with this. Uh, the only thing that I can see that is a bit of an issue uh, is the fact that we can't actually turn the gun around without this getting uh, or interacting with this. So we might have to change the situation right here, but... Um, for now, as long as we realize that that's a thing, we'll be okay. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Very, very happy. Uh, in fact, I might actually add some more ammunition to this as well, just in case we need some more. So we're going to go across the side, all the way across here, copy this, move it all the way forwards to this side, paste it right there underneath the gun, merge this with this, and there we go. Let's go ahead and save it. And the other thing that we need to do actually is grab one of these, whack it straight in there, Connect this guy up with A and D, which is this, and that guy to there, and it should be able to turn from side to side now, which is exactly what we want. And there it is! Okay, so this is our fully completed one. Hopefully you guys at home do actually like this. I think uh, the way this would work is we'd actually have one of those filled with artillery ammunition. Uh, then we'd have a train full of like, I don't know, five of these, maybe even six, or maybe even up to like ten. Um, also crew them with like ten people or whatever. Have them all get on a gun, have a reloader on each one, and turn them sideways, and launch volleys at certain things. That would actually be really, really cool. But anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.